crois que c'est une chance pour euh, nous tous. En tous les cas, je, je veux remercier Eric pour euh, cette façon euh, tellement euh, agréable, amicale, avec laquelle euh, il a conduit aussi la candidature euh, de LA. Et pour moi, je suis heureuse aujourd'hui de, de le retrouver ici à Paris. Thank you, Eric. And as well as you. Thank you. So let me start by thanking uh, my dear sister Mayor Andiago, who I have to say is like the queen of our global mayors right now. Between chairing C40 and the great work to bring the Olympics to this amazing city, she's really somebody who is a leader amongst mayors. And so I thank you for your friendship and for your leadership. I'm also so pleased to be back in Paris where just two years ago, Mary Hidalgo hosted the cities uh, at the historic Paris Agreement on Climate Change and really made sure that cities, together with Mike Bloomberg and others, were at the center of those discussions. I've been asked a lot recently about, because of changes in our national leadership, are cities more powerful than ever, more important than ever? And the only disagreement I have is that cities have always been important. Paris has always been a center of art and culture and innovation and transportation and education. Los Angeles has always been a place of great storytellers and the arts, of sports, of good weather, of aerospace and innovation too. And maybe at moments we are called to do even more, but cities are accelerating, I think, human understanding and progress. When we started the Olympic bid as competitors, I have to say that when this crazy idea of awarding to two cities at the same time came up, at first there were many reasons to do, dismiss it. No, we should both compete, there should be one Olympics and there should be one winner. But as I got to know Anne, I realized that the opportunity to actually have a collaboration instead of a competition was something that so heavily weighed on the positive side that we wanted to open up a pathway to find a way to change the dynamic back to the Olympic ideas and the values that Mary Hidalgo just spoke about. Uh, those Olympic values, the valeurs olympiques, they are so important to what we need in this world right now. Because I think our experience is everything people told us the Olympics weren't supposed to be. To search the Olympics is supposed to be a competition, but it's collaborative. It's supposed to be closed and secretive, and it was open. It was supposed to be a bunch of losers, and instead it was a bunch of winners. And um, we can't do that in sports. They only give three medals, the gold, the <laughs> silver, and the bronze. But to have a dual award of a gold medal for two cities gives us the opportunity to turn our attention to what's important. And so this agreement, this accord, is something that Anne and I discussed from the very beginning of this idea, long before we won the Olympics. What can we do to collaborate on the environment? What can we do to collaborate on transportation and technology? What could we do to collaborate on making sure the games themselves were the very best they could be? What could we do about immigration and integration in a pluralistic world and society that needs that so much that Paris and France is dealing with and that Los Angeles and America is dealing with? And so each of the aspects of this accord, I believe I'm returning something really good from Paris for my city, and I hope that from Los Angeles we can contribute some really good things to Paris. Um, I think both of us have signed a lot of symbolic things in the past. This is real. This is real. This is something that will benefit and accelerate um, human understanding and progress for both of us. And I can't wait to come here in 2024 um, for what's going to be a fabulous game in Paris. Something that when we were competing we didn't say a lot, so, but, but it's going to be an amazing game. And I can't wait for Anne to come to Los Angeles to experience the games in 2028. And it's been a real treat to have um, the governor of, of Tokyo here at the same time. We know that this is what the world needs, this is what we want to see more of, and so here's to greater understanding, here's to two great cities. And one last note I'll say, I think Los Angeles and Paris have been sister cities long before we signed this. If you look at the artists that come back and forth, you look at the centers of filmmaking back and forth, if you look at the political power back and forth, the environmental leadership back and forth, this will only strengthen it. So my only question is, we have to talk to Air France, we have to talk to uh, Delta and American, we have to talk to Norwegian Air and maybe get even more flights every every day between Paris and Los Angeles because I know this accord will make this agreement even stronger and this relationship even deeper. So, thank, you. Merci thank you. Merci. 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 Merci.